Welcome back, dear day beloved, to the update for February 2024. The energies and themes and inspirations that I would like to share with you are twofold. <laughs> one is, on one hand, I perceive definitely the word lies, 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 lies all around. It's what comes up when I tune into this month and into the next couple of months and probably years, that's very strong. Now, it's nothing new, right? But it's it's going to intensify. We will be surrounded by lies. And this will cause so many people to make wrong decisions because they believe lies. This will also cause many people to start searching for the truth because they will be disappointed by, by discovering that they were being lied to. Many will discover that. And they will start to question everything and they will not be able to rely on anything anymore. And this is actually a good thing. And I've said this before, because it will lead eventually to people, souls, turning inward and turning to their higher wisdom. We are all connected to the field of consciousness which is the field of truth. We're all connected to that. And not only that, we're a, a part of it. We are it. We are it. Individualized, yes, but we are it. And we can actually have it accessible. And if we find that nothing out there will, will give us comfort or truth or the security we long for or the certainty, we will have no other choice but to look elsewhere. And this elsewhere will be, again, the inner guidance or your higher guidance, whichever you want to say. The truth, the eternal, never-changing truth, no matter what's going on in the world. So you will be able to access the truth about something by accessing your inner wisdom or your higher wisdom. The, the field that connects us all, that will tell you exactly if this is truthful or not. But you cannot hear this if you're distracted or allow yourself to be distracted all day long by the noise out there. And too many people are still distracted by the noises out there. There's nothing wrong with it. It just means the process takes longer for them to realize that they are not an active, co-creative part of the future or the experience that they want to have or that they want to um, bring into manifestation. So the guidance, as always, I don't uh, talk about these topics without giving tips, without giving guidance on how to deal with this. So when this comes up, take maybe the invitation of turning to your higher guidance, the truth. Detach from all the results you want to hear because the problem is also we can't hear the inner guidance or the higher guidance if we're stuck in rigid belief systems, if we want to believe certain people or certain systems or certain um, conditionings that we have hold internally. If you want to be right, meaning you want to make your old programs real and correct and right, then you will probably follow statements and believe things that are in alignment with those programs. But that's not the truth. So it requires of us to be open-minded and open-hearted and open-spirited to perceive the truth. Because only by perceiving the truth are we able then to make good decisions and to make decisions in alignment with the path that we actually want to take. So we need to or get to question then everything about ourselves. Many people will start to question everything, but it's not just question everything and everyone out there. It's also question what you have been told, question what you have been taught, Question what you're telling yourself, your own inner voice is saying to you all day long. Question your belief systems. Question your, your, like the beliefs you have about yourself, about the world, about God, about religion, about systems, about everything, everything. 
Because by opening up and allowing yourself to question everything, has the truth a chance to appear to you? Because now you're not stuck in, this is what I actually want to hear, or this is what I think is right, and so I'm searching for the information that will validate that. Because we, we can do that. Like if you hold a certain belief, even if it's unconscious, you know this, we make it our truth. And we find information that validates this over and over and over. It's like an algorithm. It's like an internal algorithm that we have that leads us down one rabbit hole and everything seems to confirm that. But there is a whole other world out there with totally different information. And maybe a lot more truthful information. But we can't get it because our internal algorithm is not allowing us to see this. So the opening up, maybe even the confusion that we might experience with all these lies appearing everywhere and us seeing that they are there. Let's not dismiss them. Let's not pretend they are truth. Um, because that's what we want to hear or what we need to believe. If we detach from needing anything, from wanting anything but the truth, the truth will become your ally and will make itself known to you. It will become your sister. It will become your companion. But we need to open up to that. And so the next thing that I want to share with you is also a topic that I've been that I've been seeing since 2020, early 2020, is this topic of freedom, right? Now, again, this is nothing new, but this is coming up stronger again. We will sense this going on globally. The pursuit of freedom and the pursuit of oppression and and trying to suppress freedom in every way possible amongst humanity. That's, that's one major theme about what's going on right now. So let's look out for this in February and the months after. And again, don't do this with anger or resistance or judgment or condemnation because what is happening is perfect. The old needs to come down for the new to arise. Old systems old belief systems, old ways of thinking, working, don't work anymore. And if we don't see it, we can't change it. So we're only seeing what has been there all along. But now as it comes up, and yes, it might be painful, but as it comes up, we we can see it, we can also change it. And we will. Humanity is on the path to 4D positive, right? We are. There is no turning back, no matter what the the dark forces would like to see happening. Freedom is the future. Love and compassion is the future. Unity, consciousness is the future. That's the future of humanity. And what we see now is this: the birth of this consciousness the birth of these energies, frequencies. And and it's chaotic and tumultuous and painful. And we have to step into the unknown for this because it's not what we have been experiencing for thousands of years. This old energy was familiar. The new energy is still kind of It's unknown. And as humans, we're creatures of habit. We tend to stick with the known. Unknown makes us feel fearful. And that's okay. That's okay. But if we don't step into the unknown, we can't create it. And if we take on the role of creator, we already, just by stepping into this, we're feeling a lot more brave. It's like, okay, let's create this. Not just be part of it and flowing with it and hopefully it'll be okay. Let's create the new. Let's create Christ consciousness, 4D consciousness, unity consciousness, love consciousness. Let's create it on the planet. And this is why everyone is so important right now on this planet. Everybody who wants freedom needs to realize, and you have heard me say this before, that freedom is always, first of all, an inner state. Freedom is something inside of us. 
Are we free of dogma? Are we free of system beliefs? Are we free of judgment? Are we free of self-judgment? Are we free of labels? Are we free of oppress oppressing forces? Oppressive thoughts? Freedom is something that starts with us internally and then spills over into the outside world. So we cannot be free if we don't feel free inside. So it starts with that. And then by us being free beings, because we know who we are, or better said, we know what we are, this creates freedom, liberty. And that way we are actually allowing this to flow over into the collective and we're spreading freedom amongst people. And this is also so important that living our truth does not mean having to convince others of our truth. Because as free beings, we want to respect the freedom, free will of the other beings, no matter what they choose to do. Now, if it infringes upon your own freedom, you can absolutely say stop, no. But you, you, we are not here to tell others how to live their lives or what values to have. Yes, we can see the truth in what values are actually valuable, but everyone is entitled to their own perspective. So it's not about you or me or anyone enforcing our perspective onto someone else because everyone thinks they have the right perspective. We respect the free will of everyone. But how do we create the freedom then? How do we create anything that is important to us? by being it, by living it. If you live that, no one can hinder you. If you live, embody, be the freedom, the joy, the love, the peace, the abundance, the compassion, if this is you, if this is what you live every day, then nobody can interfere with that. This is what you bring into the world. And this is your internal state. And your internal state is your life. Your inter, no matter what's going on around you. Now listen to this, this is very important. No matter what's going on around you, if your inner state is joy, bliss, love, happiness, freedom, peace, then that's what you're experiencing. So we always experience our inner world. Yes, we project it then onto the outside world. We see something that triggers certain emotions. But what we truly experience is inside. We don't ever experience anything out there. It's inside. And so the job we have is to work on our in inner world because the inner world is the only world we always experience and only experience. And then we can actually influence the manifestation in the outer world. And that's our responsibility and that's our power. So let's do that. Let's do that. If you feel like this is inspiring for you, take the inspiration and start from this moment on living inside everything you want to be, everything you want to experience. And in this, there is no room for judgment. Because like I said, if you want to be a human being, <laughs> expressing your free will, living as a free being, you need to allow others that privilege or right or fundamental condition as well. You cannot deny it in another and wanting it for yourself. That's the negative polarity. That's what the controlling forces are trying to do. They want to have the free will to do anything they would like, but they do not allow others to have the same amount of free will. In fact, they want to 
explore as much of their own free will by by smothering the other person's free will and submitting them to their own will. And that's not positive polarity, that's not unity consciousness, that's not where the planet is heading. That's not where we're heading as a species. We're heading into freedom. This is everything we're seeing now in the next coming months and years is freedom being birthed here, (laughs) free will being celebrated, um, consciousness awakening and love and compassion and unity finding their manifestation and their home here on this planet. But it starts with every single human being. Who is up for this? Everyone else will have their own experiences in whatever way. But anyone who, who chooses that path is actually in the process right now of co-creating it. None of us are here accidentally. You chose this time. You chose to be here now. So use it. Use the time you have. Not to blame others and, and show others how clearly you see things by condemning what's out there and what people are doing wrong or systems are doing wrong, but by embodying what is right for you by embodying your divine self, your true self, your free self, your loving self, your joyful self, your playful self, embodying that. This is how you use your creator power because we are all creators. So let's create what we want. Let's see how this plays out here on the planet, but not as a passive observer, but as an active player and creator in this, creating what is meaningful and important to us, to live, to embody, to create, to manifest, to experience.